Producer. Oh, you'll have a bloody good time. I was just there a couple weeks ago, and um, oh, I, was there? In, yeah. I was just in London. I, I'm always walking here. around, right? Uh, I mean, uh, were you here? You I, I had a bunch of gigs actually. I just and, want to and, walk around. If you bring me, I won't bother you. I'll stay in the street. <laughs> uh, I, for some reason, London is really nice to me. Um, they, they have. I've been there like three times in the last couple of years, and. We've had our third room and who there, and um, they're just so sweet. I, I love it there. It's I, so I, I do too. There, you can just hang out. It's, you know, it's, it's fun. You know, they all have accents. You know, <laughs> it's like you know, it's fun. You know it's, what? Sometimes I just want to get the fuck out of here. I do love it and all, but I feel like <laughs> the people or something just even a bad taste in my mouth, like bad prints or something. I but I do like the access to a lot of things here, and it's convenient. But at the same time, I just I don't feel any culture. Well, no culture here in Ohio. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a lot. I don't know. Are you kidding? I think that's in like marijuana. That I, I, I totally disagree. Uh, I, I love New York, and I love coming home to New York. I'm from New Jersey. Yeah, that's your oh, point. That, 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 that says it all. So, today, I just wanted to say, today is the anniversary of the ASPCA. It was formed on this day. And I, and I really thought that that was something you would love to know. Well, that's a great thing. I know. So it is April 10th that the ASPCA. Well, well, is it, um, what year do you know? Yeah, I do. I actually do know the year. Um, this is a demonstration of a new stream it? producer. Look for ASPCA. 1866. There you wow. go. So do the math. Wow. That was formed in the 1800s. That was something that was maybe 30 years ago. No. Yeah. Yeah. So people were aware back then. Hell oh, yeah. Back. What are you kidding me? No, I should change what I said before. Because no, there is some fun shit going down here, but it's just not enough for me. Wait. And, and, and <laughs> talking about animals. So oh, awesome. They had a cool show that I went to see. It was different, and I really liked it a lot. And you played at that hotel. The, the oh, Mandalay Road? Yeah. 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 That's oh, fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. I had a great, great time. Great time. Great when, when I go to a place where I feel like I'm in a different year, that's when I'm having fun. I should, you know, something like that. And Lost in time, right? Like yeah. Time. yeah, I did feel that for a minute. It was great. Yeah. 
Alright, so talking about animal cruelty, you were you were talking about dead dead already. Ne- yeah. This, this is actually I didn't like this is really cool. I know that I want to, I know the girl that makes these necklaces. But you're talking about your friend. Yeah. And they look for yeah. roadkill yeah. and then they take it and use it and she makes jewelry. What's her name? They put it all over me. What's her name? What's her name? After mine steel. Taxidermy jewelry. Yeah. Yep, you kill it, she'll put it on a thing and it's it. Yeah, I was going to say, you I kill like, it, I like, kill like, like loving things, but I like dead things too. I have a large collection of dead things in my house. <laughs> in New Orleans? <laughs> including human skeletons and skulls. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> people, like John Wayne Gacy, right? Well, Hello? Human skulls a little large to wear around the neck. I think that's better. <laughs> yeah, well, all right, let's just go back to your tour. So you're going to go all through England, <laughs> yes. and then where? And then home to New York. Well, so it's just for fun. So it's all over England. Well, that's, that's, how long are you going to be away? It's seven days and seven nights. You know what I mean? Oh, it's like six days. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's great. And it's Star and Dagger. And, 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 yeah, I can tell. Star and Dagger, and we just had a nice little time today. We just signed a little deal with Mike Force. So wow, great. congratulations. We'll have an album out July 25th. So we're going to go over and see some people that maybe can, you know. Give us an interest and just have a good time. Well, you guys are so deserving of it. I mean, you guys have a history. I mean, you want to see a producer. Oh, there's some secret stuff. Where can you get some stuff now? Should we close the camera down for a minute? We might have something available at our show Sunday. And Sunday. Sunday is our Mercury Lounge. What time? We're playing early. The doors are 6.30 and we're going on at 8 p.m. Yeah, we're going to have some. That's Houston Street, well, Manhattan. Well, it's a very place. small amount of some kind of rare items that are really just for the UK tour, but we'll, we'll have a few for some of the other pieces. The vinyl we put out would last for a while. It's a YouTube label, and you have it <laughs> in New Orleans. So just give a little bit about your history, because it's pretty impressive. I mean, you know it is. Come on. Cycle Plus and Fuels. Cycles, Bloods from Hell, and oh, She Wolves. I mean, yeah. bad ass <laughs> to the nth degree. Um, white zombie from the beginning to the end. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to tell you how Yeah. I, I always agree with her with the green. I know. It's funny because I think the most natural. It did. It really did. It suited you. I saw a girl on the train yesterday with green hair, and I just couldn't stop there. It looked so good. It, it, it looked so good. I'm going to have to go back one day. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, this is, I always think blonde is like blonde. Vaughn keeps us, keeps, keeps it up for us. Yeah. 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 Little, 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 little and so Vaughn, what's your, where have they find you? Well, I sang around for a long time, but nothing storied as these two, to be honest. <laughs> well, well, I know Java yeah. said that as soon as she heard you singing, she was like, I want her in my band. Oh, they're, they're just, they're that. good friends. Who no, was this really one was like, like, you know who would be a good singer? <laughs> uh, I mean, we went to Barcelona and just got hammered in the karaoke, but I don't remember a fucking thing. And I knew she was <laughs> Like to us, like she's amazing. Fucking molecules for your man. We were doing demos, and then she passed the demo to her. Wow. That was like, and you guys photographed pretty well, too. Thank you. I mean, you do. You guys look amazing. You have a great photographer. Well, I'm a good friend photographer. She's amazing, so that really helps. Yeah, we also met Selton and Jet Olivia just as the stylist, and that a little New Orleans voodoo. Nice. I was wondering if you were all sick. You know, our record cover, we do a takeoff on that. Oh, that's not so. That's another one of my favorites. So, Nelly. Neely. I'm always so Neely. Neely. I don't know what it is. You know, I think you're Neely. I'm so Neely. I'm sure it's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I get it. And so she, you're the other one. That is. She is the other one. one. Which one? Who saw the answer? Which is the one that takes pills? They <laughs> all <laughs> 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 Yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> He's the candy man. Uh, yeah. right? It's like share. Yeah, exactly. I called it first. That's how it works. So I'm not 
professional cinnamon and croissant day. Oh, and uh, we like to get skeletons from your closet. So, like, yeah. I know yeah. you guys have to have Ooh. something to share. Oh, Will you share a skeleton, Vaughn? Yeah, She's I'll pretty good at that. I mean, literally, what I was thinking about when you were talking about this woman that has a roadkill problem. You know, when I was a kid, I used to find. I, you know, I had a roadkill problem myself. If I find a little little animal that had, was deceased, which I grew up in a the swamp in Florida, so they were all the time finding them. I would take them home. I had a pet cemetery, and my parents thought I was a total freak. And I'd give them a little burial service. And so I literally have some skeletons in the closet. I have a fixation with burying dead things. That, I thought we did proper burial. Wow. Ooh. Did you have like a ceremony that you would do? I wasn't that pagan about it, but I did, you know, make sure they just had a nice little eating place, you know, a little resting place. Did you put them in a box or would you just If I could find them. something sweet, you know, to put them in. And, and, you know, still to this day, I mean, my cat went out like Cleopatra. I mean, it was like a box, jewelry, you know, incense. Oh, you know. So I'm a little creepy about the burial. I guess I missed my calling. I should have been a funeral director. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or would, you, would you like some cinnamon for sun? But did you ever like take them off later to see what they look like? No, that's you. <laughs> 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 anyway, she. I don't know. But I actually had skeletons in my closet because I, I started dating this guy and his uh, parents came to town and his mother is a Pentecostal minister of all things. And my house is filled with, um, you know, cars and great posters. Everything will be a new stream so producer. Skeletons, literally, literally hanging from the hanging, <laughs> no, no, hanging from the ceiling. And, Oh, everywhere, but I, I, I put as many as I could in the closet while she... Oh! Like, oh did she find any? Well, there's one that's hanging from the ceiling I can't really hide. <laughs> was Otherwise, she okay? No, no, she was not okay. <laughs> She's not okay. That's the bit out of a movie. Well, I know. Have you been doing any bad you want to talk about? But then you got a don't get us this bullshit. Everybody a knows the fucking story. What's gonna happen this week? And they didn't call us sluts for nothing, as you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. I know. I don't. I, I really don't. Now, how you were involved in the Frankie Woodbins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can't tell you anything that nobody else doesn't already oh, know. Don't mind. Why don't I have heard it? How about me? Do I try it? Wait, wait. I'm new. If that one, tell, tell. No, no. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tell the. Okay. 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 I made out with Keith Richards when I was 15 at the St. Lawrence Hotel. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, so I made out with the plaza. That's a big boom when I was 15. Many years later, about 15 years later, I guess, I was at a wedding that she was at. And I was like, I just got shit faced Candler and put my mascaras down here. I saw pictures and like my dress was ripped, and I was like, hey, I gotta go over there. Administration, <laughs> and you still I producer. Um, it's a sorry day where Keith Richards is holding you up. <laughs> oh, wow. He's like, well, no, I said, no, I said, I said, I said, you're probably the only person that he's ever had to. You're my <laughs> idol. <laughs> but I said to him, I said, hey, you're not gonna believe this, but we met. And he's like, no, and I got. Yeah, I said, when I was 15, I met you in the same Maroons. We made out in the elevator. Love in an elevator. So he goes, yeah. He goes, and what happened to you? I said, I became a guitar player and it ruined my life. Yeah. He goes, ha, ah, the same thing happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we took a picture together. Demonstration of the U-Stream producer. Less people looking at what the dude 
There's a huge metal scene in the South. I know that much. Yeah. I'm sorry. There's so much talent here, but it's like something against the tide. The way the city. It's almost like there's so much other shit besides go see a band. That's the problem. No, it's not. It's hard. You have to really dedicate it to be doing music here. I mean, a lot of people are. It takes a lot of. I think that's a great story. Yeah, that's a great story. That's why there's that song. I'm fucking crippled because of it. If you can make it here. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, you know, it's not me that you guys are white zombie because when I was a little kid, I used to watch you girls, and I, I was obviously involved with you girls. But and I'm in love with you now. She was the only girl on white zombie. I know. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's yeah. like a Quentin Tarantino <laughs> movie. Thank you. It, it really is. Remind me of the scene of the desert. We got to go, though. But I thought I said to you. Thank you. We love you, Star and Dagger. Thank you. Have a good bon voyage. Yay. We'll be back.